Guess what, guys? What, Stashi? It's time for the Word, word of God. God. It's, it's time, time for the Word, word of God. God. It's time for the Word of God. God. It's time for the Word of God. It's time for the Word of God. <laughs> What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's Miss Stashi. Stashi. Uh huh. <laughs> do you think they're watching you right now? They're definitely watching. Who do you think is watching you right now? Uh, Trinity. I, I think Jazar is watching you right now. Johnny. Lee. Uh, how about Matthew? Mia, Josiah, Eli? Jordan. Yes! Yeah! Yo, you remember that one time uh -huh. Elle was like, she was so ready to go into Kingdom Kids from top of the class? Yes. And now she's watching. Oh my goodness, she's out of toddlers. How about Devin? Oh my goodness, he calls me a swimmer. Mr. Wamsi. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny, Desiree. They're oh watching. my goodness. Who else could be watching? All of our babies, Caleb. Oh my goodness, we miss them we so miss much. We miss you guys Josiah, so much. Josiah, who is a leader. Yes. Uh, you got Kimani. Yes. You got Kalia. I mean, they all could be watching this, right? They could be. Corbin. Corbin. Oh my goodness. And their friends. Sammy, Rosie. Come on. Hey guys. Hi guys. We miss y'all so, so, so much. So much. But guess what? This is one of the most exciting parts of the year. It's a new month, and we're almost at Easter. Uh, can everybody say April? April! Well, we gotta say it with the no. April! April! That's it, you got it, you got it, you got it! I think they got it, Stasha. Well, guess what? We're so excited about Easter. We're so excited about this new month. But one of the most exciting things is how Jesus pretty much changed everything. Everything. When he died on the cross for us. What do you mean by he changed everything, Sasha? Because not only did he die on the cross, he then came back to life, which guess what? What? Flipped the whole world upside down. He flipped the script? He flipped the script. Ooh. Mr. Ramsey, knowing yeah. that Jesus flipped the script, mm -hmm. which was the greatest example of humility, let me see if you can flip the script at the table right here, right now. Hold on. Flip that water bottle. Let's see. Make sure it's tight. Okay. And let's see if it lands. You ready? Yeah. No, flip it, Mr. Ramsey. Oh, okay, okay. Help All us, God. Right. Let's see. Definitely not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but you told me to flip it. I, I said to flip it to try to make it. Let's try one more time. Everybody clap it up for Mr. Ramsey. Good Thank try. You. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you for you. grace. Thank you. Number Thank you. two. This is huge because he flipped the script because he gave the greatest example of humility. And Mr. Ramsey, can you tell us or can you guys tell us what humility is? Who knows? Are you raising your hand? Is that destiny? Are you twiddling your finger? No, that's Jason. Oh, hey, Jason! Uh, you know what? No, that's a first time guest, Stashi. Okay, well, can you tell us what humility is, Mr. Yes. Ramsey? Well, if I'm looking accordingly, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure all the kids go on Google yeah. and they're looking up what humility means. Uh -huh. And I can spell it too, Stashi. Okay, spell so it. H U M I L I T Y. H U M I L I T Y. H U M I L I T Y. Humility. Yes. And it says a modest or low view of one's own importance. Humbleness. So when you look at humility, it's all about being humble. Yes, and putting others' needs before yourself. Yes. Humility is putting others first right. by giving up right. what you think yeah. you deserve. So let's say you walk into Children's Church, mm -hmm. right, like we do every Sunday, uh -huh. and somebody has a jump rope, and that person really wanted a jump rope. Now, guess what humility does? Instead of you just wanting to jump rope the whole time, mm -hmm. you grab it and you give it to somebody else. And you tell them, you know what? I see that you really wanted to use it. I'm gonna give it to you. Putting others first. Right, and also, even with the jump rope, yes. let's say we have a line for them. You know how we like to jump rope with kids. Yes. And you know that you've had all your turns and you notice that the person turning the rope mm -hmm. hasn't had a turn to jump yet. And you say, you know what? What? I'm going to turn for you so you can jump. Wow. That's exactly what Jesus did. Well, so let's see how Jesus 
uh, practice humility. Let's right. see how his lifestyle was. Right, actually. because he came to serve and not be served. Wow. And that's what we want to focus on. So if you want to hear about it, say yeah. 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 All right, so let's talk about how Jesus did this whole humility thing, how he really flipped the script. So we all know Easter is about Jesus what? Resurrecting on the what? Third day. Right. Right? So Jesus went through a lot of things before he even resurrected. Mm -hmm. And I think that going through that right there shows us a level of humility that right. Jesus really went through. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the events leading up to Jesus. Like, like. What like what was going on at the time? What was going on beforehand? Ooh, ooh. Everybody say all that drama. All that drama. Mm, mm, all mm. That. So Jesus was at the height of his popularity. They had heard about Jesus everywhere. Everybody was saying, "Who is this Jesus? Who is this Jesus? Uh -huh. Who is this Jesus? Who is this Messiah?" And he was popular. Oh yeah, he was famous. They knew him. I mean, Instagram famous. Oh yeah, he had about ten million followers. Correct. He had Facebook followers. Right. He had to create five pages. Because so many people wanted to follow Jesus. Right, and wow. not only did they follow him everywhere, they wanted to hear what he was about. They wanted to hear his teachings. And not only did they want to hear his teachings, mm -hmm. they wanted to see the miraculous happen. Wow. So they really wanted to see what he he, he could do. What he can really do. Right. And what, did, what, what could Jesus do? Well, let me tell you. Please. So all these people were following him. They wanted to see what Jesus was going to do. Some of them were just being nosy. Wow. I have a neighbor that's nosy. Wow. But that's not the point. So some of them got on his YouTube channel just to see what he was just doing? Just to see what he was doing. Wow. Some of them, but guess what? Mm -hmm. Some of them fell in love with what he was doing, and some people became jealous. Wow. Everybody say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever experienced someone who was jealous? Or maybe you've been jealous before? Wow. That's How did you deal with that? Well, let me tell you what they did. They had had enough for months. They were plotting behind his back. So you're telling me they were getting ready to betray Jesus? They were getting ready to end the movement and silence him once for all. So they were blocking his pages, basically. Wow. Trying to make a way, they were plotting behind his back so that no one would want to follow him, so that no one would want to love him, so that no one would want to hear their teachings, his teachings, because they were jealous. So do you think, Stashi, like maybe one of the kids who watched this, they probably dealt with betrayal before. Wow. Like, one of your friends betrayed you. What or... is betrayal, Mr. Ramsey? Oh, betrayal. Mm -hmm. You want to know what betrayal means? Uh-huh. Let me tell you. When somebody goes behind your back and they're doing things without you knowing, they're talking behind your back, they're saying things behind your back, it is not cool. And it, it's also a form of jealousy, right. you know, and also a form of being selfish. Right. Because they're only thinking about I, 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 and they're not thinking about you. Wow, that's rough. So Jesus had to go through all of that. All of that. And he went through it just for you. Mm. Just for you watching. Just for us. Mm. So let's tell you, let me tell y'all what happened. Mm. So Passover was coming soon. It was a holiday when everyone remembered how long ago God had rescued his people from slavery in Egypt. Mm. Everybody said, oh, that's what Passover is. That's what Passover is. So on the Sunday before the great feast, because you know people like to eat. I people. mean, they probably would eat pollo tropical. Everything, Popeyes, everything. And what's chicken, our favorite? Chick-fil-A. Chick -fil -A. Ah! Because it'd be so good. It was so good. I, I could imagine. Me too. Come on. So I'll... you know they had to have a feast before the celebration. And then they had a celebration. I could only imagine. They probably were doing the electric slide everything. or TikTok challenges. Everything. Probably... What, what because it think? was a celebration. You think they were doing the TikTok? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they were. They were stopping. They were getting down. They was getting down. So Jesus entered. Crowds of people were there to cheer him on. Jesus! 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 Uh, 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 uh. Right, right. Oh, okay. They were so excited. Wow. So they were eating, they were dancing, they were celebrating. They were yelling, yes, Jesus, you're awesome, you're awesome. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now you know those other religious leaders were not happy with this. So people were not happy because the crowd was cheering it on for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wow. So 
there was another person moving among a different kind of crowd. So not the crowd that was happy to embrace someone coming in the name of the Lord. It was another person, a sneaky person with a sneaky plot. Ooh, who was this person? <sighs> His Ooh. name was Judas. Judas. And guess what else? He was really Jesus' homeboy. Wow, so Jesus had a friend named Judas. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me that Judas was jealous of Jesus? He was jealous. So Oof. could this happen during the time, during the Passover, where Oof. they were celebrating and yeah. feasting? While they were celebrating and eating and TikToking and getting down and dancing, he was going behind Jesus' back and meeting with those religious leaders. Wow, that's a selfish person, Miss Nastasha. Mm, 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 mm. It was rough. It was rough, rough. Could you imagine? And what was so sad is Jesus knew. He loved him anyway. He loved Judas despite mm -hmm. of what Judas was getting ready to do. Mm. So, hey, Mr. Ramsey, let's act out how this this really went out really quickly. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. So, okay, I'll be Judas, okay? Okay. All right. So, what are you willing to give me if I turn Jesus over to you guys? I'm sorry, I can hear you. So what are you willing to give me if I turn over Jesus to you guys? I can't quite make out what you're saying. I said, what are you willing to give me? If I turn Jesus over to you, what will you give me? Easy does it, wise guy. How about 30 pieces of silver? Wow. They traded out Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Bada bing, bada boom. Which is horrible. Yes. Jesus knew about Judas' plans to betray him, but he also knew that he had to go through with everything that was coming. Wow. No matter how difficult it would be, he knew he had to face it head on without defending himself. Mm. He chose the way of humility. He gathered his closest friends so they could celebrate the Passover with their last meal together. So Jesus knew that, G that Judas was going to betray him. And even though him knowing that, he was like, you know what, I have to go through this in order for people to really understand what humility looks like. So he really put his other friends before himself. He put them before himself and he knew that they would betray them, betray wow. him, which was rough. So let me tell you what happened, y'all. Yes. Jesus ate with his friends. Mm. But remember, it was the Passover feast. So there were no croissants and no souffle. And the mood wasn't exactly how the Frenchman depicted it. At least for Jesus, it wasn't. You see, Jesus knew that the next few days mm. would be very difficult for his friends. Wow. And for himself. So he wanted to prepare his friends so that when it would happen, they would know. After he shared the Passover meal with them, he led them on a walk out of the city. Jesus told them, in a little while, you will no longer see me. Mm. In a little while, you will no longer, why Stashi, why would Jesus tell, aren't you guys asking the same question? Why would Jesus tell them this, this information? Why, why Stashi? He said, I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving and going back to the Father. Wow, that sounds like a form of humility. Definitely, but the disciples, which were his friends, must have looked around at one another like, unsure of what to say. Could you imagine someone sitting in front of you and saying, you're not gonna see me anymore? Your friend? I have to go back to where I came from? Wow. How would you be able to respond? They loved Jesus. They loved and they didn't want to see him go. That's like me seeing my brother Ramsey. Yeah. That's like saying Ramsey. That's like, say it, let me see. Stashi. Uh-huh. Where are you going? No, Ramsey, you were supposed to say you're leaving. Oh, Stashi. Yes. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I have to go back there. Your acting skills need work. <laughs> Drink, you need water. <laughs> Did you guys like my acting skill, kids? <laughs>
But on a serious note, that was hard for them to hear him say that. And they know he, he spoke the truth. He said, now I'm leaving and going back to the Father. The disciples looked around at one another. I know probably saying what, what to say. They loved Jesus and they didn't, they didn't want to see him go. All except one. Who? Judas. Wow, the same one? The same who one. Jesus knew? Judas? He had already left by then hmm. to go get those 30 pieces of silver. Jesus led those disciples to the Mount of Olives. Mm. Listen to the conversation between Jesus and Peter. This very night you will all turn away because of me. Wow. All of the others may turn away because of you, but I never will. And this is Peter talking to Jesus. So that was Jesus who said the first part. So you're going to say Jesus' part, and I'm going to say Peter's part, because we want you guys to get a full understanding of how this really happened. What about to tell you, is it true? It will happen tonight. Before the rooster crows, you will say three times that you don't know me. I may have to die with you. But I will never say that I don't know you. Me too. Jesus' friends pledged their love and loyalty, but Jesus knew what was about to happen. He knew, knew. Yeah, Jesus, look, you can't hide nothing on Instagram from Jesus. You couldn't hide nothing from Snapchat from Jesus. You can't hide nothing from YouTube with Jesus and even Facebook because Jesus knew what Judas was getting ready to do. Wow. Mm. When they reached the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus asked the disciples to stay while he had to pray, while he went off to pray. Do you guys know how how hard that was? That had to be very hard for Jesus. Very, very difficult. He knew what was coming. He knew how hard this was going to be, but he had you guys in mind. He had to put you first. He had to put you first. He had to put you first. He had to yeah, put me, me first. He had to put us first. So he knew what he was going to do. He put the whole world first before himself wow. because he knew it would take humility to get him to where he needed to be. Wow. So as the disciples all found a spot to sit and rest, Jesus asked that Peter, James, and John come along with him just a bit further down the path into the garden. Wow, he took his friends with him. They're near, a small grove of ancient olive trees, Jesus spoke again. His voice was heavy with grief. He said, my soul is very sad. I feel close to death. Stay here. Keep watch with me. Then Jesus went a little further to pray. Peter, James, and John meant to stay up and keep watch like Jesus had asked him to. Wow. Wow. So it says so they meant to stay up. So could that mean that they fell asleep? Yeah. And they were the watchmen to yeah. make sure that they nothing was going because. Jesus must have knew Miss Nastasha. He knew, he knew. While Jesus' three cowpokes, or friends, tried to stay awake, Jesus prayed. He said, my father, if it is possible, take this cup of suffering away from me. Wow. But let what you want be done, not what I want, my father. So at first, it sounds like Jesus looked at himself. And then he realized, I'm doing this in the form of humility because I'm putting others before me. Right. And because of that, he said, if it is your will, wow, that is so cool. And to even in his, I'm sorry to cut you off, what were you saying? No, go ahead. Even in his uh, humility, he still seemed as if he was a little nervous and a little afraid, but he knew what he had to do. And even at that time, he still knew to call on the Father, wow. which is what we have to do, even when sometimes we may get afraid yeah. or we may feel nervous. He still called on yeah. the Father because he knew what yeah. he had to do. Definitely humility. And that's one thing you can do when you're at home, right? While you're there and you feel like you're nervous about a situation or you feel like you're going through a situation, maybe you need to stop and call on God, right? Call on Jesus. And and allow Jesus to really help you to form this humility or understand humility so that you can go and do what you're called to do, right? Right. And Jesus said, couldn't you men keep watch for me for one hour? Wow. Jesus asked. He asked the men again if they could stay awake and pray while he went to pray for a second time. Mm -hmm. My father, it is possible for this cup to be taken away, but if I must drink, 
may what you want be done. Again, Jesus returned to his friends. Mm. Jesus went back to pray a third time again. He asked God if there was any other way, but at the same time, he trusted God's plan. Wow. So no matter what he was feeling, he really did not, it sounded like he really did not want to do this business. Right. But for some reason, he he trusted on God. He trusted God. So even when you feel like you don't want to do something, or emotionally, like, or you might be feeling some way, like, you should really trust on God because it's what Jesus shows us, right? Right. Mm. And in closing, we can choose to put others first. Mm. So what does that look like for us? Mm. Well, when's the last time you let someone else pick the restaurant? Mm. When you go out to eat? Even if it's a place where you don't like their fries. Mm. What about taking the second controller and letting someone else pick the stage for the game, the Mm. video game? Yeah, put down Fortnite, let somebody else play with it. Right. Don't you always want to have the first controller or at recess you don't always have to be the first one to be in line? Mm. Your teacher says, line up. I'm the line leader. Did you like to be the line leader when you was in school? No, I was a safety patrol, but I wasn't a line leader. I I wanted to hold the door. Mm. Yeah. You remember that far? You hush, that was not that far. (laughs) (laughs) But we're saying all of this, we're ending the, the, the lesson today, but we just wanted to share it with you guys, how excited we were to get to the events leading up to, uh, the resurrection of Christ for Easter. So we're going to leave you guys with the memory verse. So go get paper and a pencil, or if you have your phones, type it in notes. We know you know how to get there. And Mr. Ramsey is going to go ahead and let you guys hear the memory verse. Okay? Yes, because humility is a big factor when it comes to Resurrection Sunday. If Jesus didn't really submit to humility, we all would not be able to worship Jesus and worship God the way we do. So this verse here is going to really help you to make it through your day, your week, right. your month, because this is what it's all about. So, if you can go with me, right? Philippians 2, verse 3, say it, Philippians. I hear you. Philippians. Two, 3. Uh-huh. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. And here what it says. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. I'll say it again. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourself. Humility is all about putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Right. Put others first. And remember, the scripture is Philippians. 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 Yeah. It begins with the P. The H. I thought I had a G, Stashi. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Philippians 2, verse 3. Yes. All right. So humili- humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. We love you guys so much and we miss you. Thank you for watching. Yep. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you want to say hi, put them in the comments. We will respond. We will respond. We miss our baby. We miss our baby. We miss our baby. And always stay tuned because we're going to have more lessons just for you. We want to connect with you. So make sure you guys are watching. And when you come back, we're going to be questioning you based off what you learn with these videos. We miss y'all. Let me see your finger one more time do that. Did you hear that, Mr. Sasha? <laughs> I have a testimony. <laughs> we miss their testimonies. Yes, we do. Love you guys. Bye. Peace out. Bye. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. We had a great time doing this with you. It was the bomb. It was the bomb, period. It was so dope that we want you to subscribe to our channel right now. Grab your fing- your parent finger, grab it, grab it, and press subscribe, 
And now listen, if you really want to be a part in connecting with us, you need to click that notification button because we want you to know when we just posted a new video. Right. Right, Stashi? Right, and it'll let you know that we posted a video. You can come in, watch it, spend time with us, although we're not really there. Actually, we are. Yeah. Because let us find out. Mm. So, don't forget, subscribe. Hit the like button. Notification. And we will see you soon. Have a great week.